All right, guys. So welcome to another video, and today we're going to talk about something interesting. Now, recently, B11 X uh, in China K40 got the MIA 13 update. Now, what has been happening is whenever you're flashing Xiaomi.eu or whenever you're flashing the Chinese MIA 13, you are actually not getting a lot of features like you know the option to change refresh rate, enable in MEMC, face unlock, and all those things are getting missed because the reason that is happening is Xiaomi for some reason has coded the OS in such a way that if you flash this on Elliath in, that is the Indian version of the device, some features will go missing. Now there is a way to fix that and it's sort of easy if you have root access. If you want to know how to root MII 13, I recently released a video, go ahead and watch that. So in today's video, we're going to fix MEMC and the refresh rate toggle option and a bunch of other things using root access. And this is a step-by-step -step guide. So before we get into the details, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, please join us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 members over there with similar devices. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right. So as I said, you know, you need to be on MIUI 13, which is of course based on Android 12 for the Mi 11X. And uh, it could be Xiaomi.eu or it could be the China recovery ROM. It's completely your choice. You need to have root access installed, right? That's a very, very basic requirement. Now, by no means is this going to harm your device, but to be safe, just make sure you have more than 50% battery. Make sure you've backed up all the information on your device, okay? So the first thing, first thing that you will need is Magisk Hide Props. So if you actually go ahead and search over here, ideally it should show over here, but for some internet connectivity access reasons, Magisk is not able to find it. So we'll search it on Google. So, you know, just, just go ahead and look for Magisk Hide. So Magisk and then H-I-D-E. There you go. Select this one. This is the XDA page for that particular module. 6.1.2 is the latest one. This is the file. Okay, it's downloading now. There you go. It's just 95 KB. I'll leave it in the description. So then you go to Magisk. Okay, and select install from storage. Select this, let it install. Okay, now reboot once. This is the only module that we need. And then we have to run some commands and we should be good to go. All right, so the device has rebooted and we have successfully installed Magisk Hide Props Config. So go to the Play Store, okay. Let me actually show you things over here before we actually go to the play store if you actually look at the display section you don't have the refresh rate and memc change options if you go to additional settings i have not enabled developer options so let's go ahead and enable show refresh rate There you go. You can see that the system is locked at 60 FPS or 60 Hertz, right? Now, once you've done all of that, you need to go to the Play Store and search for Termux, T-E-R. There you go. This is basically a terminal application which will allow us to run the commands which we need to change the code name or the internal name of this device from Elliot in to Elliot. That's all you've got to do. And then if you do a single reboot, it absolutely fixes everything. Let's wait for this app to install. And yes, we have it installed. All right. So the moment you type in SU in lowercase, it will ask you for allowing root access. So go ahead and click on grant. Okay. Now we've allowed root access to this particular app. Now type in props. Everything should be in smaller case P R O P S and hit enter. As you can see, it's loading a bunch of things. Let's wait for it to load completely. Okay, now over here, we are looking for this option called add edit custom props for me. That is number five. So what I'm going to do here is go to number five and hit enter. New custom prop, go to main menu. So we'll go, we'll select N over here. So 
So let's select N and hit enter. Enter your desired option. So over here we are looking for again in lowercase RO dot product dot device. Okay, once you've typed this, hit enter. The current set value is alieth in. Please enter the new value. Now we need to change this from alieth into alieth and everything should be in lowercase. So A L I O T H. There you go. Hit enter. Type in yes. Hit enter. Okay, reboot yes, no, select Y, hit enter. There you go. Now the phone is rebooted. So we have changed the value of this device from a Indian variant to a Chinese variant and MIUI will think that it is now installed on the Chinese variant and it will give you all the features. Let's wait for the ROM to boot up again. Let's go to settings over here. Let's first go to additional settings, developer options. Let's enable screen refresh rate once again. Show refresh rate, we are still on 60. And now let's go to display, okay. Let's select this to 120. This option is present, AI image engine. All features are present and working. So you have face unlock available as well. At the same time earlier, uh, you know, while it was set to Elliot in, I was having issues clicking pictures. Now the camera is working absolutely fine. No crash, nothing. And the multiple, you know, the dynamic refresh rate is working from 60 to 120 as well. So yes, this is a step-by-step -step guide to fix MEMC, face unlock and a bunch of other things in the Mi 11X when you flash the Chinese ROM or the Xiaomi.eu ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.